Hello everybody and welcome back to Airport CEO. Today is going to be a bit of a different video. It's going to be a tutorial on how to do remote stands because I feel like a lot of people are confused with remote stands. So yeah, let's hop right into that. So here I've got two separate terminals and you can see I've marked them as terminals. And um, each has one stand at the, at the terminal and one remote stand. So let's set those up. First, first thing you want to do, um, it doesn't have to cross a crosswalk, but this is something that should be mentioned. Um, wherever your remote stand bus stop will be, it can either be connected to the terminal or it can be across a crosswalk from the terminal, but if it is, you must make sure to zone the crosswalk and sidewalk as a secure zone. So let's just add this in right here so let's put in the bus stop and the service car stop you can't forget that and then let's mirror that on the other side so yeah and then put in our door and our door on the other side and then lay out our sidewalk do the same thing on the other side now here's the most important part you have to make sure all of your sidewalk and all of the crosswalk, even underneath the door, is zoned as secure or it will not work. Passengers will not be able to reach it. So I'm just going to um, make this for only service, service vehicles and shuttle buses. Um, you don't have to do that if um, the only time you'd really need to do that is if you're making a whole separate area for it, which I am. So, yeah. So, firstly, let's connect these up to this stand, as normally we would. And these up to this stand. And then instead of doing that directly, what you want to do is connect them to a shuttle bus stop and then connect them to a stand. So they're connected through the stop. Then you have to go to the stand and connect to the service car stop. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Connect these to the bus stop. I missed, I missed. Then to the stand. Then the stand to the service car stop. Once you do that, you're going to be able to take these flights. Please note that you need to have the um, the R&D project of remote stand permit to even be able to do these in the first place. So what you're going to want is two or however many stands you have worth of service cars and shuttle buses. Once you have those, you are ready to turn on your remote stands as I did, and they should work. Now, if you want to clear up congestion, there is another thing you can do. Let's check on our flights. Perfect, we've got flights coming in soon. Um, something you might want to do is add an arrivals only bus stop. And this will clear up congestion where your other stops will be. So let's just build that now. And this is optional. Please note that you do not have to do this. And to make those work, all you have to do is go to the stand and connect in the button underneath the service car button, which connects an arrivals only bus stop. This is especially good for international flights, but it is not required once more. And here comes our first remote stand flight. And you can see the bus just drove through the plane to the stand. This is a really cool special livery. And all of the people will get on the bus. The ramp agents get here via the service car stop. The bus will then take the people to the arrivals only bus stop. They will go into the terminal and leave. Why are both of them special liveries? That's cool. Um, anyways. Then when it's time to board, agents. 
people will board the bus. And the bus will take them over to their stand for them to get on the plane. Very simple. You just need to know how to set it up properly. I hope I was able to teach you something new today. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out the next video.